Hello, this is Brother Shane and Sister Janet from Servants for His Glory 44. And this is a spiritual warfare intercession. And Brother Shane is going to go ahead and get us started. Father, in the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, we give you thanks for your loving kindness and tender mercy towards us. While we are yet sinners, Yeshua died for us. Father, we just magnify your name because you are worthy to be praised. As angels bow before you, heaven and earth adore you. What a mighty Yahweh we serve. Father, cleanse us from all sins and from all unrighteousness. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, let the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach purge us from all sins and from all unrighteousness. I pray, Abba Father, for Sister Janet, as she declare your words. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Isaiah 54, verse 17, No weapon formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rise up against us in judgment, Yah will condemn. O oh, Abba Father, Yeshua HaMashiach, you said, Behold, I saw Satan, Hashatan, falling from heaven. He said, Behold, I give you power to tread upon serpents and upon scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy, and nothing by any means shall hurt us. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, O Father, we magnify your name. It is you who have made us and not we ourselves. Father, clothe us with the whole armor of Yah, with a lion girded with truth. Thy word is truth, the breastplate of righteousness. Righteousness exalts the nation, the gospel with our feet. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, shield of faith, where which we can be able to quench all the fiery darts of the enemy. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, the helmet of salvation, you are our salvation. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the word which is the Ruach, which is you, Yeshua HaMashiach, where we use, Father Yah, to defend ourselves, to cut the enemies in many pieces, to pull down their strongholds, to chop down all Mama, Father Yah, to chop down all those giants as David slew Goliath. Father, in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, we pray with all supplication. We give you thanks, Father Yah. Abba Yah, you are worthy to be praised. And we approach your throne room of grace in the mighty name of Yeshua. We come under the covering of the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, every witches and warlocks, Jesuits, in the mighty name of Yeshua, that the fire of the Ruach HaKadosh consume them. Every large Freemasons, in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, let the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach cover us and defeat them. Let the fire of Yah destroy them. Let the sword of Yah destroy them. The arrows of Yah destroy them. In the mighty name of Yeshua, every reptilian spirit, every reptilian, every gargoyle, every shape-shifting demons, will they be sent? Whether they are placed in our homes or in our community or in our countries, we bind them now in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Every monitoring spirit die by the fire of the Ruach HaKadosh. Every astral projection spirit, Father, you know, some can repent, some will not repent. Those who will not repent, Father, I pray that you cut their silver cord and let them die by the fire of the Ruach HaKadosh. Father, your word says, whatsoever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever we loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. The blood of Yeshua HaMashiach against the forces of darkness, against Janet and her family, and against those who will be listening to this. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. The blood, 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 the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. The fire of the Ruach HaKadosh destroy every generational curse. Break in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Break every chain in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. The blood of Yeshua HaMashiach, the sword of Yeshua HaMashiach, the breath of Yeshua HaMashiach, the fire of the Ruach HaKadosh, destroy them now. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil, because thou art with us, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort us. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we will dwell in the house of Yah. Forever and ever, hallelujah. These are the signs that shall follow them that believe in my name, in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. They shall tread upon serpents in my name, in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. If they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. In my name, in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, dead will be raised in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. O oh, Father, send your holy angels, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, to fight on our behalf. 
just as how he, they did for Daniel in the mighty name of Yeshua Hamashiach, as the ruler conquered his spirit for us according to Romans 8 and Yeshua Hamashiach, making intercession for us, Abba Father. You said men should pray and never to cease from praying. Father, we just magnify your name. We give you thanks. We thank you for what you are doing in us. In the mighty name of Yeshua Hamashiach, you said, the harvest is right, Father, but the laborers are few. Pray ye that the Father will send more laborers in the harvest. O oh, Abba Father, Isaiah says, who, when you ask him, Father, who shall I send? Yeah, Isaiah says, hear my, O oh, Yahuwah, Abba Yah, send me. Send Janet, send me, O oh, Father, in the power of Elijah, in the mighty name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Father, you know that even our, our language, mighty Yah, is just a tit, Father Yah. But you said, call upon me, as you said to Jeremiah, and I will answer thee. And show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Heal us, O Yah, and ye shall be healed. Save us, and I shall be saved. For thou art my praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua Hamashiach, we just magnify your name, O Abba Yah. We magnify your name as angels bow before you, saying, Holy, 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 Yah Almighty, which is, which was, and which is to come. The whole earth is full of your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua Hamashiach, you have given us so much power. Just speak the word, and it will be done. Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I may not sin against thee. In the mighty name of Yeshua Hamashiach, every AI technology, every programming demons, succubus, ikibus, those sexual demons, die by the fire of the Ruach of yes. in the mighty name of Yeshua. The fire of the saints, the fire, the fire, the fire of the prayers, burning and defeating them now. Even now, Abba Father, we wage war against them in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Our war against evil forces, perpetual Father Yah, never to stop. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the fire, the fire, the fire, the fire of Yah, destroy them. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Father, we give you thanks and we magnify your name. It is you who have made us and not we ourselves, not by might, not by power, but by your Ruach HaKadish and fire. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, as I'm thinking, mighty Yah, that how much love you have for us, that men, you call men, Father, to lead, men and women to lead, Abba Father. In these end times, we have to magnify your name. We have to call upon you because our strength comes from you. You say we look to you, our Father, the author and finisher of our faith, in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, as Naaman dipped in River Jordan seven times, mighty Yah. Whatever you want us to do, Abba Father, what is your will for Janet and I this morning? What is your will for our listeners, Father Yah? You said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Take up my yoke. My burden is easy, 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 easy. Oh, Father, help us to listen to you, to honor you, to magnify you. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, as Paul says, we come with not with excellency of speech, but just Yeshua HaMashiach and him being crucified. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, the Ruach HaKadis, the Spirit says, In the latter time, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, let us be bold and courageous. Let us strong. Let us be strong for you, Abba Father. Strong in your words, strong in deeds, strong in action. For we know that it is you. Father, you are strengthen us. I give you all the praise and all the glory, not unto us, not unto Janet, not unto Shane, but unto you and your name, O oh Father, we give you thanks. We magnify you. You are worthy to be praised. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, which is, which was, and which is to come. Holy glory, honor, might be unto you, which is, which was, and which is to come. We give you thanks, Father, Yah. thank you. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah, so be it. Hallelujah. Yes, Abba, we just thank you for this opportunity to come before your throne. We thank you for the atonement. Yes, I thank you for the blood that covers us and covers this intercession and covers those that would be listening to the sound of our voice. And we just bind the strong man right now in the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. And Abba, I just stand in agreement with the prayers that Brother Shane has brought forth. And I thank you for it. I thank you for his obedience to you, Abba. I ask that everything that he has prayed on behalf of me and my family, that you also, Abba, would honor on behalf of him and on behalf of those that would be joining us in this time of intercession. And also on behalf of our brothers and sisters that are scattered throughout the globe. 
throughout the four corners of the earth. Abba, I ask that she would move mightily as a mighty rushing wind. Yes, Abba, from the north, from the south, from the east, the west, and that she would bring a whirlwind and let that whirlwind fall grievously on the head of the wicked, every power, every principality, every demonic ruler, and even those in high places, those coming from the kingdom of darkness. Yes, Abba, I ask that she would move on behalf of your people and that she would put to naught the schemes, the plots, and the devices of the enemy and all monitoring spirits and monitoring devices. Let the fire, the fire of the Ruhagadesh, destroy and crumble their devices, even their spirit guides, even their wisdom. Let it be brought to naught. I ask for confusion. Yes, confusion to be released into the camp of the enemy, into the camp of the kingdom of darkness. Let civil war occur in the kingdom of darkness. And everything that Brother Shane has prayed, I ask Abba, that you would rise up as a mighty man of war, even as you speak of in Exodus chapter 15, verse 3. I ask that you would rise up as a mighty man of war, and that you would fight on behalf of your people, on behalf of Shane, on behalf of others, Abba, on behalf of our brothers and sisters, on behalf of those that are just innocent, even the children, Abba, that you would fight on their behalf, that you would... Uh, just blind, deafen, yes, and, and mute those enemies from the unseen realm, those that would be speaking lies, those that would be um, speaking in the ears of even the children to lead them astray and to bring any type of fear, any type of terror their way. I come against all those attacks that are coming against children, coming against our children. And Abba, I just ask that she would rise up and just bring to naught again these plans of those that would seek to do evil, that would seek uh, to harm others, would seek to lead others astray, wolves in sheep's clothing, those that, even those that are, um, they are putting on a facade of being of you, but they truly have evil intent that you would expose those that are of the kingdom of darkness. Yes, Abba, those that would have evil intent, those that are even taking advantage of your people in different ways. I ask that you would expose it and that, Abba, that you would bring forth your chastening. If, if it's in them to repent, I ask that you would give them, uh, um, you would give them conviction in their hearts. Yes, Abba, that you would bring a mighty a move of conviction in this hour. I saw but that she would expose what needs to be exposed, bring to the light all of these wicked devices, those things that are taking place in secret, and that you would bring justice. Yes, Abba, I know many of us are seeking your mighty hand of justice against those that truly have evil in their hearts and they seek to do evil and they do evil even in the night hours, even behind closed doors even uh, underground, and I asked that she would expose it, uh, but I said this would be the time, this would be the season that she would bring full exposure, that she would expose the wickedness that is taking place in the earth, and that she would protect your people, that she would bring forth more reinforcements, especially to those that are being bombarded right now by the enemy, and being hit from all sides, we lift them up right now, and we we come in unity for your mighty hand of intervention, Abba. We plead, as Brother Shane said, we plead the blood, we loose the blood of the Lamb over them, and I speak even, I, I, I come into agreement with what Brother Shane said about Isaiah 54, 17. I declare it over Shane, I declare it over our brothers and our sisters, that no weapon that is formed against them will prosper, and even every tongue, even every incantation break in the mighty name of Yehoshua Mashiach. All incantations, vexes, hexes, spells, 
divination break because Abba, your word, it will not return unto you void. So let no weapon that would be formed against any of your people prosper. No word curses. Yes, let it just fall to the ground and burn up by fire because this is the heritage that you have given your covenant heirs. Yes, and the righteousness that you bestow to your people, it is of you because you said greater is he within than he that is in the world. And so we just thank you, Abba, for the covenant. We thank you, Abba, for the covenant protection that you are pouring out. We thank you, Abba, that you protect us from so much, even things that we are unaware of. But you bring exposure when it is your will to do so for your purpose. And we give you glory. And, and I again, I come into agreement with bro what Brother Shane said. We do not desire any glory for ourselves, but let you be glorified in all things. I ask, Abba, that in this hour, as you are raising up those, as you said, and you desire for the meek to inherit the earth, Abba, that you would be glorified in your lighthouses. You would be glorified in those that you were raising up to carry your light. And you are moving in such a mighty way as you're wanting to pour out. And I ask that you would equip. Yes, you would equip your people for the battle has intensified. Yes, I ask that you would equip them, that you would give them new depths and levels of strategy, new depths and levels of discernment, new depths and levels of just wisdom. As you said in James 1, 5, let, uh, if, if any man lack wisdom let him ask of you who give it to all men liberally and braideth not and it shall be given and i also speak your word in luke it says that uh you will put wisdom yes you will put wisdom from within that even our adversaries yes they will not be able to gainsay nor resist so i ask for that promise to be bestowed on behalf of your people that they will know how to operate at any given moment even in the night hours in that Abba, that you will protect your people from dream pollution and those attacks where the enemy comes in in the night hours and tries to sow tears. Yes, within their subconscious mind and, and all these things that take place as people are sleeping. I ask Abba that you would put those plans to naught, that you would cancel. Yes, I just speak the name of Yahushua Muhammad Sheikh over your people and over their sleep. Abba, that any dream pollution that has come against them and that is is even producing any type of effect that you will cancel it by fire that you will release your fire over the the night hours you will release a greater measure and depth of fire over the night hours yes release from heaven's courts and i ask for this as an ambassador of your kingdom yes and ask that you would honor abba on behalf of the saints for a great depth of the rahagadesh a great measure a sevenfold increase of your holy ghost fire your rohkadesh fire over the night hours where people are sleeping and, and people and of course there are some that are awake during the night hours but those that would be asleep that you would protect them you would protect their dreams that you would send specific targeted angels to protect them when they sleep and on behalf of the children and on behalf of those that are vulnerable even those that would be in nursing homes those that would be of a um an age uh abba where they have become vulnerable Abba, I just ask for your mighty hand of protection. And Abba, I ask that you would bring more exposure towards the attacks. Yes, let your people be five steps ahead of the enemy. Yes, Abba, I ask for an increase in revelation and knowledge, Abba, and counsel, Abba, that when an attack is coming against your people, that you will make your people aware of it in advance so that they can come against those attacks 
facts, give them an intuition, give them a prompting in their spirit. And I thank you, Abba, that the enemies of the unseen realm, they are defeated, that the gates of hell, I declare and decree it over your body, that the gates of hell will not prevail, that the enemy has a loss because your people walk in new depths of victory. And I ask that you would release upon them a mantle of a conqueror. Yes, Abba, even as you did for uh, Joshua, even as you did for Caleb, where they entered in and they took down the giants of the land. I ask Abba for increase in boldness. Yes, an increase of your fire, an increase of your anointing, the breaker anointing that you keep uh, you keep bringing up, Abba, in my times of intercession, I ask for that breaker anointing, the anointing that breaks yokes, the anointing that removes the bondages and burdens, and that you will bring upon your people a lightness. Yes, a lightness that they have not previously experienced so that they can do those things that you're calling them to do. A supernatural strength upon your servants, upon your missionaries, those that are putting themselves in danger, even their families. I ask for an increase of protection. I ask Abba for your love, as Brother Shane mentioned, that your love, it has no bounds. There's always new depths of your love. And I ask that you would pour it out in an abundant measure upon your people, that they would receive it. And I just also ask the Abba that where there is blockages and hindrances, uh, in certain individuals where they're not able to receive for, for whatever reason, whatever stronghold is impacting their ability to receive uh, an experience where they can comprehend the love that you have for them. Let those strongholds crumble and break by fire right now. Yes, and I ask for an outpouring of your love in a way in which her people have never experienced it. And I thank you that the enemy trembles. Yes, I thank you that the enemy is fearful because he knows his time is short and he knows that you are strengthening your people. You are strengthening those that would seek you, those that would take the time to get to know you, those that would pursue you. You are strengthening them and you are emboldening them and you are imparting to them things and so we thank you, Abba. We thank you for this time. And I seem to have lost Brother Shane, but I thank you for this prayer. And I seal up this time in the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. Amen.